Hey, what's up, Glam Tribe? Welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for hanging out with me again. And if you have just found me with this video, I'm so excited you decided to click in, hang out with me, and chat about some glam because we are talking about one of my favorite brands today, the Lip Bar. Um, if you are not familiar with this company, I would highly suggest that you go and look them up. Um, they kind of had a little pop of notoriety from being um, denied on the Shark Tank and not having an investor. However, they kept it moving, they kept believing in their brand and they found success regardless. So I love that. I love stories of just overcoming obstacles and doing your thing and showing up and showing out. And that amongst um, many other reasons is why I support this company a lot so i picked up a few new things because i went on instagram and i saw that their eyeshadows had hit target not like i need a new eyeshadow and also their um liquid eyeshadows those have been out i believe for a while but either way i just wanted to pick up something new from the brand try it out for you all i really wanted to do it last month in the spirit of black history month however let's just talk about women's month because we are here to celebrate amazing women every day like me like you yes you we're celebrating you and other amazing women as well so let's just get into it the first thing I picked up, of course, is the liquid eyeshadow. I actually really like liquid eyeshadows, and I have a few of them. They're pretty easy and new makeup user friendly because they're just pretty intrinsic of just swatching it onto the eye and blending out with your finger like that. They're not that complicated. But I picked up the shade Girl Next Door. I thought the name was cute, and the shade looked perfect for me. Honestly, all the shades look fabulous, but this one was like the one that I was like, I need it now, right now. I also picked up another lippy. I have several of their liquid matte lipsticks. Usually if you see me wearing a red, it is usually their shade Boss Lady. But I love their formula. Um, I love the size of the product because sometimes I carry really small bags. And I love the shade range. It's not too much. It's like just enough. But I grabbed the shade Unimpressed because I thought it was sassy. They have really sassy names. I'm here for it. And last but not least, I picked up the eyeshadow quad in Fairy Princess. I really end up liking this color story, so I had to grab this. Now that you know overall what I grabbed, let's dive into each product individually, starting off with the liquid eyeshadow. So first up, we're going to talk about the liquid eyeshadow. Um, I am a fan of liquid eyeshadows because I think they're just a really easy formula to work with, which just backs up the fact that this is part of their uncomplicated makeup routine and their fast face. You're going to get one swatch out of this and you'll get pigment. You'll get the right amount of product to start working with and you can build up the intensity if you want. But truly, when I swatched this for the first time, I was like, okay, this is good. It's not runny. It's a really creamy formula. It has the right amount of pigment. It has definitely some reflects in it that gives it that nice pop and shine and it's a really great way to like dazzle up your eye look without making it fussy so the liquid eyeshadows retail for $12 each I know there are sometimes some bundle deals on the lip bars website but individually $12 for 30 grams of product next up I had to grab another lip color I really should have just bought like all their lip colors from the beginning but i'm like okay i need to pace myself and treat myself here and there but i grabbed unimpressed it's the color that i'm wearing on my lips right now it's a really great little pink but neutral and type of vibe just easy to wear i did line it um with some chestnut lip liner from mac just to deepen out the corners it's usually my trick because i feel like sometimes even though it complements my skin tone i just like a nice little gradient flow and adding depth to color so if you've never heard this from me on instagram i show a lot of the times i'm wearing these lip colors like on my stories i love this formula it's very comfortable on the lips i can go throughout the day only have to reapply like once after eating in case some oils or anything else removed it just around like the center part of the lips but it is extremely comfortable probably one of my favorite liquid lip formulas if not my most favorite liquid lip formula out of all of them that i own and i have a lot of lipsticks why I call myself lipstick and Anissa. <laughs> this retails for like $13 and you get 0.24 ounces of product. And really truly the pigment on this again is really good. A little bit goes a long way. So it's really in all honesty when you break it down pretty budget friendly for the most part. I know it's not like NYX or anything but you get a good bang for your buck with these liquid lipsticks. 
Lastly, I picked up one of the four eyeshadow quads. Um, these, again, are all a part of the Fast Face complexion um, system that they have created. Now, three of them are really more specific to the shade match and the foundation with one that's like a universal, more playful quad. I actually picked up one that was for a shade lighter than me, so I picked up Fairy Princess. Usually, this is for the shade category 1.0 to 2.0, um, and I'm actually, when I'm did my match online. I haven't picked up the foundation yet. I'm going to. I was like 4.02. So really I should have picked up the brown bombshell but I like the fairy eyes um, color story and really I felt like I could still wear it because it was still pretty neutral enough. It was almost just like a super nude-esque eyeshadow palette for me. Now I love the packaging as always with the lip bar products. They are so like just recognizable and like my makeup kit. I'm like, oh yep, see it. And then on the back of this little quad, they put the names of the eyeshadows. So again, I, I'm happy that there's names to them. That way it makes tutorials easier to follow along with. And I do like to create tutorials and I'd like to have a reference point of a name for a shadow. Um, and if you're like me and you're not too deep, you're not like in the five category, you could still use this shade range like they are lighter you just need to understand that they're going to be very nude and not have a super dramatic impact so we'll go ahead and swatch through these colors right now starting with the top um, corner here in the left which is the shade bouquet that is like that matte light highlight shade you could use it as a high transition color you can use it on the lid to kind of create a little more of a cut crease effect i did put it on underneath the liquid shadow today just again just to give it a little bit of a base a little backdrop color um so it wasn't any like skin tone really peeking through Next is the color slippers right here in the top right corner. That is like that accent shimmer color in the little quad. Um, a little frost, not anything too hyper dramatic because you can build up a more high intensity glam look with the liquid shadows, but it does the job for this quad. In the bottom left corner, there is ball gown. It's like a really true mauve lavender shade. I really actually like using mauve lavender shades as a neutral, like a pseudo neutral on eye dot shadow looks. It's extremely, extremely gorgeous, especially on just a main lid color. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. And then of course there is like that nice crease transition color, which is Tierra. And that's what I used in my crease today. So this little palette here is a little bit more on the cooler neutral spectrum, is not any warmth really to it at all, which I'm not mad at because the color that I really match with, the quad brown bombshell is really warm and I have something so similar to it. So just having an easy little neutral cool tone quad that works for me, I am super happy with that. This eyeshadow formula is pretty easy to work with. Um, I did have to use a little effort in blending because it does pack up quite a bit of a punch with pigment wise, but other than that, no complaints at all. It's a fine quality eyeshadow, nicely milled, nicely pressed into the pan. Nothing crazy happening with it. Underneath the little pan, you do get a little eyeshadow applicator. I didn't use it like Feeling it is a pretty nice soft synthetic brush. However, I just like using my main brushes and I always travel with those anyways, but it is a cute thought to just have it there to do a quick touch up on the go or do your application in a snap. I just haven't put it to use yet, so I can't really speak on it for performance. The quads retail for $10.99 each and it comes with 2.2 ounces of total product. Just a final note about the eyeshadow palettes. These are exclusively at Target. You can't get them on thelipbar.com. I think it's kind of cool they did an exclusive product for Target. Like I need another reason to go to Target because I can live in a Target pretty much. But yeah, just a heads up, you can get it only at Target, $10.99. Um, just check the availability. That's what I did. I went onto my Target app to see if the product was available and one near me I was able to go in and just like pick it up and go so I can glam. Below, I'm going to link everything that I showed you here today. Those will be affiliate links, so I will earn a little bit, but it just goes back to support me and the channel and my dream and like everything. But if you don't want to shop through affiliate links, I totally get it. I'm not hurt. You can just go to a retailer that they'll be available at, so the lipbar.com and then target.com to find the products. Now, I do have to run. However, I'm going to throw another video for you to watch for my channel on the screen so you can still continue to hang out with me. And feel free to hit subscribe, join the tribe. There's a button down below, red. 
it says subscribe. There's a bell next to it as well. You definitely want to hit that so you get notifications about my uploads so you don't miss out on anything. But in the meantime, just click onto that next video as well and I'll catch you in that video, okay? Okay.